Thank you. 
Hello and welcome. Let's see. Can anyone hear me? There we go. Let's get that volume up. How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome inside the Bell Family Arena. Rocky Lamar Court inside the Cook Center. We are ready for tip-off between the Kansas Christian College Falcons and your Mid-American Nazarene University Pioneers. My name is Kyle Walker. My pleasure to be your substitute tonight. Nate has other things going on. He's got family stuff, so we wish the best to Nate and his family. One, only one loss on the young season. We are still in the early goings. That's for sure. Now Kansas Christian going to take a three-point attempt on its way. Too strong, no good. Off the back iron, but able to rebound. It's Kansas Christian. They drop it off down low. Ooh, a little floater from the lane, no good. And that's rebounded by the Pioneers. Jones McCrary with that rebound as well. Now the Pioneers quickly the other way. Shot blocked. Good feed to the inside, but knocked away by the defense of the Falcons. Pioneers now will inbound from their baseline. 22 on their shot clock. Pretty up-tempo off offense. I was not calling the games last year, so a lot of players new to me. Yeah, new scheme, Rocky. Old Rocky Lamar, not with us anymore as head coach. Hope hopefully he is enjoying his retirement. They go inbound to Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown working along the baseline. Drops his shoulder, a little floater in the paint, up and good. If you're not pioneers, sends the ball up the top. They go to Brown in the corner. Anthony Brown with it. Little stutter step. Ooh, try to... A little wraparound pass into the paint, trying to get it to Caleb Jones McCurry. Way too strong, out of bounds it goes. Turnover on the Pioneers, ball back to the Falcons. Falcons bringing it up the court. Working the ball around the perimeter. I tell you, I'm really excited to see if he checks into the game. His name is Great in Wat in Watchku. In Watchku, I'm probably saying it wrong, and I apologize. Listed at 7-2, and I saw him warming up, and this guy looks impressive, so be curious to see how much time he gets in this game. But a 7-2 center is not someone you want to keep on your bench if he's got any ability to him whatsoever, so we'll see. Here's a little pull-up shot from 16 feet away. No good. Rebounded by Anthony Brown. Here come the Pioneers on offense. Quickly down the center of the court into the hands of McCray. McCray loses it. Now transition the other way. Coming back for Kansas Christian. No good. Rebounded by Anthony Brown. Pioneers now with a two-on-two -two break. Alexander's just going to take a little hesitation step, and he's going to be fouled on his way to the rim. So Kansas Christian, they are in the black uniforms, blue lettering, and from where I am at, I cannot see a thing. I could not tell you the number of the gentlemen that committed the foul because I can't see it from up here. Pioneers are in powder blues, if you can believe that. Powder blue throwback uniforms for the Pioneers. Their number's also difficult to read, so this is going to be a fun little test for me. Now Jones McCray working underneath, kicks it out. Three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebounded by Kansas Christian. They've got a three-on-two break if they hurry. They kick it out wide. Three on the way. Nope. Little pump fake. Driving baseline. Now foul's going to be called on the Pioneers. No, I changed my mind on that one. Apparently stepped on the outline first. Turnover on the Falcons. Ball back to the Pioneers. Alexander will inbound to someone who I can't tell because, again, I cannot read these uniforms. This is Elmore. Elmore with the ball. Sends it up top to McCrary. McCrary picks up his dribble, feeds it down low. Anthony Brown, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Now double team comes. He kicks it back to the top. Ball being worked around the perimeter. They go down to the McCrary on the other side. Double team for him. They kick it out to Alexander. Alexander drives. Layup right side. Up and good. Jake Alexander with the two-point layup on the right side. The Falcons quickly coming back the other direction. Pioneers get their heads turned in time. 6-2 Pioneers in the early goings of the first half. Now Kansas Christian again. I'd give you their names if I could read those numbers. But it is dark letters on dark jersey, and it is rough from up here. Missed shot. Rebound by the Pioneers. Pioneers a three-on-three -three break. Three from the corner on the way. Short, no good. Rebounded by the Falcons. Falcons quickly the other direction. They do not have numbers. So their point guard is going to hold up. This is Lewis. Lewis feeds it down low. Little hop step in the paint. Up. No good. Rebounded by Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown has decided he is cleaning all the glass tonight. And no one else need apply. McCrary down low. And he's going to be bumped on the way to the rim. That's going to be a foul. Let's see if they're going to put this on the ground or if he's in the act of shooting. I think in the act of shooting. So Jamal Clark called for that personal. This puts Caleb Jones McCreary, the junior, out of Kansas City, Missouri, at the line, shooting two.
for a shot. On its way, up and no good. Just rimmed off the right side. Oh, and boy, I talked about it. So, great Wanchuku has checked into the game. Again, listed at 7-2. And he is a big lad. Second free throw on the way, up and good. So, Pioneer is able to convert one out of two on that. Extend their lead to 7-2 to in the early goings of the first half. Only four minutes gone by. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. Three-point shot passed up. Boy, just lost handle on the ball. Now it's Anthony Brown with the Pioneer ball, heading her head of the field. Layup from the right side, up and good. And now Kansas Christian would like to talk things over, and they call their first time out of the half. Nine to two in favor of the Pioneers. In the early goings of the ball game. So I hope everyone's having a great Wednesday evening. Thank you for putting up with me. And since Nate's not here, a little replay on your screen. Here's Anthony Brown's layup from the right side. If you happen to be watching on the YouTube channel, we do have the chat room feature. We always welcome chatter. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're rooting for, who your team is, who your player is. I just ask you to please keep all comments within the boundaries of good taste. Would not want to have to pull anything down. That's no fun. But we love to know where everybody's watching from. Over on the football season where I called the games, we had people chiming in from all across the globe. That was a lot of fun. Timeout is over. Here come the Falcons. Screen set. Point guard going to drive. Dish. No shot taken by Clark. Clark kicks it back to the top of the key to Washington. Washington's three-point shot, no good. Rebounded by Jones McCray for the Pioneers. Pioneers coming down in transition. Anthony Brown stops, pops, no, does not drop in the paint. It's a missed shot for Brown. Rebounded by the Falcons. Falcons heading the other direction. Here's a drive, able to get around his man. Layup up and good from the left side. That by Boog Lewis. Lewis with two points for the Falcons. Now... Ball stolen away. An entry pass to Anthony Brown. Picked off by the Falcon defense. They bring it ahead in transition. Now they're going to pull up and let everybody rejoin them. Ooh, a little bit of a bobble on the dribble there. So able to pull up the dribble. Now works it around. Shot on its way. Three-pointer no good. Rebounded by Alexander. Yes, no, maybe. And Alexander is fouled before the transition game for the Pioneers can take off. So that was a missed three-point attempt, I believe, by Boog Lewis. Alexander for the Pioneers with the rebound, and they foul him so that he does not get easy transition points. Already three team fouls for the Falcons. And they're going to send a new player into the game, Jerese Jordan, onto the floor. Now the Pioneers get it to Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown, focal point of the offense. No kidding. Senior guard. Layup from the left side, up and good. Anthony Brown just able to take it all the way to the rim, wasn't stopped. And now here's going to be a turnover on the Falcons, trying a long pass ahead, and it carries the intended target out of bounds. Turnover on the Falcons, ball back to the Pioneers. Now Anthony Brown brings it up the floor. Brown, top of your screen, his right side. Screen is set, doesn't take it. Going to continue the isolation, now going to drive in the paint. Pump fake, shot on the way, up and good from the front of the rim. Right now, Anthony Brown able to do whatever he desires on the court. 13-4, MNU. Falcons bringing the ball up the floor. They're going to have to figure out some way to stop Anthony Brown, who's coming up with all the pioneer points. Clark with it, sends it to the side. Here's a drive, contested, up and under, no good. Rebounded by the 7-2 center, no good on his follow. Now they send it ahead to the pioneers. The outlet pass was knocked away, but the Pioneers are covered. Now Alexander's going to drive baseline, wrap around. And McCray's shot is erased. A great, oh, and now his dunk attempt is erased as well. Again, this is Wanchuku. And again, I know I'm saying his name wrong. And Falcon fans, I apologize. I, I am not saying it correctly. I know that. But the 7-2 center, Wanchuku, great defense. Two blocks. Now... He gets caught for camping out a little too much in the lane. Three-second call. Ball back to the Pioneers. Winjoku. In the try of Winjoku. And if I'm wrong, again, apologies. Pioneers now with the ball, bringing it up the floor. Into the hands of Elmore. Elmo working up left side. Gets it to McCray. McCray to Alexander. Alexander now far side of your screen. Back up top to Elmore. 
Elmore working. Double team comes to McCray underneath. McCray, a quick shot, layup left, or right side, I'm sorry. And he just knocks it over Wachoku. Again, he had to be quick so he didn't get a shot blocked. He knew it. So just kind of shot putting it right into the goal. 15 to 4 for the Pioneers. Falcons kind of slowing the pace. Drive, dish, drive baseline, dishing it all the way out. Three point shot not available. Another drive, dish, three point shot not available. Going to drive. And now a foul is called. So the Falcons bailed out by a Pioneer foul. And Alexander called for the personal, got a little piece of the arm. Checking into the game now is Van Dyke for the Pioneers. Taking a seat is Elmore. So Van Dyke for Elmore. Van Dyke coming in for his first minutes of the game. And the Falcons able to inbound. Near the free throw line, here's a drive. Ooh, boy, surprise no travel was called. His back foot definitely drugged, nothing called. Ball stays with the Falcons, working around the perimeter. Three-point shot on the way, no good, too strong. Rebounded by Elmore. Now Alexander has it. Wraps it around to Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown all alone on the left side. Crosses up his man. Little floater in the paint, up and good. I'm seeing a pattern. I believe you are as well. 17-4, Pioneers. Ooh, there's a great crossover. Three on the way. Not able to connect. Rebounded by Elmore. Now ripped away by the Falcon defense, but that carries them out of bounds. So the ball's going to stay with the Pioneers. It was a great crossover. Couldn't hit the shot, though. Now Van Dyke pulls up his dribble, dribble, gets it back. Driving, lost a handle again. That's twice now he's lost his handle. They get it to Alexander. Alexander drives in the paint. Layup up and good from the left side. That is not as easy as Alexander made that look. That was a great drive and left-handed layup for Jake Alexander. Now here's a drive. Two Pioneers up. Ooh, high off the glass. That was a great layup made by Jamal Clark. Pioneers quickly the other way. Van Dyke dishes it out. Alexander, three on the way. Looks left, is left off the back iron. Anthony Brown with the rebound. Gets it poked away from behind. Here's Kins Christian. And dunk attempt, no good, but a foul is called on Elmore. Not Elmore, I'm sorry. On Jones McCrary. It was either going to be a spectacular block or a foul, and they elected for foul. Did the officials look good from where I'm at? Oh, there's Ryan Robinson, Birdman in the house down there. I hear the whoops. The Birdman is here. Kobe Reese checks in for the Pioneers. Jones McCurry takes a seat. And now checking in is Ed Wright. He's back onto the floor. Alexander getting his first breather of the evening. Second free throw on the way. Up and good. 19-7 to is your score. Now the Falcons look like they're going to put on a little three-quarter court press. See if that can disrupt the Pioneer offense. Debatable. Anthony Brown has it. Dishes it back up. Here's a drive into the paint. That's got to be a travel, right? Yeah, indeed it is. Ed Wright, good drive. One too many steps. So travel called on the Pioneers. That's a turnover. Ball back to the Falcons, trailing by 12 with 11 minutes remaining in the first half. Falcons driving. A little pull-up jumper on its way. No good. Off the left side of the iron. Anthony Brown with the rebound. Brown looking to have a double-double before the half. Three on the way. Long distance three. Short, no good. That was missed by Wright. The Falcons quickly the other direction. See if they can create something. Anthony Brown able to knock the ball loose a little bit. Disrupts the tempo. But remaining in possession of the ball are the Falcons. They're working it around the perimeter. He's a drive baseline. Shot is up. Up and good from the left side. That was Jamal Clark with a little layup from the left. Now here's a long outlet pass and too strong. Pioneers with the turnover. Ten-point lead and now ball back to the Falcons. Now the officials blow the play dead. For some such reason, I don't think the shot clock was reset to the way that they wanted. That is my guess. 
All right, here we go. Play ready to resume. Now the clock is where the officials wanted it. Here's a drive. Left side. Shot is up. No good. Ball being battered around. Falcons able to come down with it, working the ball around the perimeter. Now they go down low. Ooh, boy. That was a quick trigger on that whistle. So Kobe Reese called for the foul, but boy, it's almost like the official anticipated that there was going to be a foul. There wasn't actually one yet. Free throw is up and no good. No good on the front end of the two. That was an intriguing call, Mr. Official, sir. This is Stubbs at the line. He misses them both. Now the Pioneers secure the rebound. Anthony Brown bringing it up the floor for the Pioneer offense. Under 10 minutes now in the half. That was absolutely a reach in. Official no call. They're getting really physical with Anthony Brown. Bring the triple team. He works the ball out around the perimeter. Ball in the hands of Wright. Back down to Anthony Brown underneath. Down to 10 on the shot clock. He feeds it underneath. Great pump fake layup up and good. And the foul is the, the foul is there. Kobe Reese is going to have the potential three-point play. Not going to lie, didn't see the foul, but the officials called it. So we're going to go with what they said. So, again, the basket is good. Reese will go to the line for the potential three-point play. Pioneers up 21-9 to with 9.38 remaining in the first half. So that was a very quick first 10 minutes of the half. Checking back in for the Pioneers during this break is Elmore. So he's coming back on the floor. Again, nothing in the chat room. I know you guys can hear me. You can hear me on YouTube. Come on, let us know where you're at, who you're rooting for, who your team is, players, teams. Hey, if you're rooting for the announcer, that's great too. I would take a fan. So leading the way for the Pioneers, to no surprise, is Anthony Brown. He's already with 10 points on 5 of 6 shooting. He has played all 10 minutes so far. Then behind him, McCreary with five, Alexander with four, Reese with two. That's where we are in the early goings of the game. Pioneers have all 21 points in the paint. So in the paint is where they're making their living tonight. They, I don't even think they've attempted a three-point shot. Yeah, all the points coming from down low. So if you can get that, get it. Those are the easiest shots. They're the closest anyway. All right, we are done being serenaded by a Michael Jackson song. And again, at the line for one is Kobe Reese. Free throws on the way. Up and good. So that completes the three-point play. Now, Caleb Jones McCurry checks back in, and Reese takes a seat. Your free throw was so good, you get to relax. Now, here's a drive, dish, three pointer on the way, wide open, no good off the left side of the rim. Now, Anthony Brown, long outlet pass down. And now, here's a little spin, layup up and good from the right side. This is Brooks Langer. So, Langer got ahead of the field, able to come up with an easy one on the other end for the Pioneers. Drive, shot on the way, layup is up and good. This is Jamal Clark. So the Falcons able to answer a layup of his own. Pioneers up 24-11. They get it to Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown goes high post to Jones McCurry. McCurry looking, looking, looking. Can't find anybody. Puts the ball on the deck himself, gives it to Brown. Brown, three on the way, up and good. Anthony Brown with the first three-point shot and make for the Pioneers this evening. Extending the Pioneer, Pioneer lead, 27-11. to 11. Here's a drive. Dish. Couldn't hit his man in stride. So now driving baseline. A lot of contact, nothing called. Falcons able to keep possession of the ball. This is Jordan. Jarese Jordan was looking for that three. Didn't take it. Now here's going to be a turnover. No, ball battered around. And the Falcons able to come up with it. So the foul is actually going to be on Brooks Langer. <coughs> So Brooks Langer, 6'3", sophomore guard out of Harrisonville, Missouri. 
He's going to check out of the game. Jake Alexander is going to return. Jake Alexander, the senior now out of McPherson, Kansas. And I remember when he was just a little freshman. Here's a drive. Layup up and good. This is Jamal Clark. Jamal Clark really been the only offense that the Falcons have had. Now, Pioneers missed their shot. Able to get the rebound back? Yes, no, maybe. Ball battered around. Ed Wright not able to hit the shot, not able, not able to collect his rebound. Now the ball stripped away by Anthony Brown. Right ahead of the field. Contact coming. Layup up and good from the right side. So Ed Wright, great layup. Extends the Pioneer lead, 29-13. And MNU wants to talk things over with 7.56 remaining before the half. In what's been a very quiet first half of action for both squads, 29-13. Nothing really higher light real worthy. Nothing really low light real worthy. We're just putting right along here in the first half of action. You're getting some replays here from our various camera angles, which are a lot of fun. That's a great job by Wright. Using his body to shield off the defender, comes up with that layup. So after that real quick timeout, play ready to resume. Falcons will have the ball. Pioneer lead. Pioneer lead is 16. 7.56 remaining, and here we go. Play has resumed. Bringing it up the floor is Jamal Clark. Clark takes a screen, working left, dishes it out, driving baseline. Driving all the way through. I do believe this is Washington. Again, nope, it's not Washington. I'm sorry. This was Jordan. Very hard to read the jerseys. And now foul is going to be called on the other end. Anthony Brown got ahead of the field. They fouled him to prevent the easy layup. And again, Falcon fans, I am very sorry. It is hard to read their uniforms from up here. So Jairese Jordan calling for the personal foul. Anthony Brown at the line, shooting two. First attempt on the way, up and good. Anthony Brown, second attempt on the way. Up and no good, but rebounded by Alexander. Alexander dishes it out. Pioneers have it, top of the key. Now working back around. Alexander's going to take the three. Short, no good. Rebounded to the Falcons. So Kansas Christian College brings it up the floor. Clark with it. So their big man is looking for it down low, but here's a three on the way. Too strong, no good. He gets the rebound, though. Up and good from the right side. Again, hard to box out. 7-2. Now the Pioneers trying to bring it the other way, and this is going to be an over and back by the Pioneers. Turnover. And now coming in for the Pioneer is Janelle Aponte. Aponte coming in for MNU, his first minutes of the game. Falcons now, ball top of the key. They work it right side. Now go to the baseline, three along the way. Ooh, that bounced along the top. That's got to be over and back official. I understand he's like really tall, but geez louise. And now here's going to be a little floater in the paint. And this was made by Clark. Two points for Kansas Christian. Now Ponte, three on the way from the baseline. No good. Rebounded by the Falcons. Falcons ahead of the field. Don't have the numbers. So they're going to slow the pace. They're going to let their big man take his spot in the paint. Here's a drive, baseline, shot is up. Contested by Alexander. I think Alexander erased that shot. So that's going to be a block for him. Pioneers the other direction. Aponte again in the corner. Three on the way, left this one short. So 0 for 2 from that spot in the corner. Falcons the other way, quickly. Drive, dish, another drive, another dish, but right into the waiting hands of Alexander. So turnover by Kansas Christian. Okay, everyone's getting a little too fast for themselves. I don't think either side is particularly up-tempo. This is my humble opinion. Here's a drive, and that shot is erased. The 7-2 center able to erase that shot by the Pioneers. Here's a three on the way, uncontested, up and good. Jamal Clark with the three-point attempt up in there, and so it's a 10-point lead for the Pioneers. Pioneers are... Letting the Falcons come right back into this game, whether they like it or not. Now Alexander has it left side. Drives, dishes, drops it off to the big man. And the dunk is up and good. Caleb Jones-McCrary off the feet from Alexander. Able to come up with a two-handed jam. 
Gives Pioneer a lead up to 12, 32 to 20 with 5-10 remaining in the first half. There's a drive, pulls up the dribble though. Now a little floater in the paint, short, no good. Rebounded by the Pioneers. Pioneers will have a three on two break if they hurry. To Alexander, left side. Alexander, a little stutter step, up and good on the left side. So the Pioneers are kind of letting the Falcons get back into this game. Now some rapid fire points. They're pulling away yet again. One, two, three, four. There we go. I had a four second call, but the officials did not see it my way. Here's a three-point shot missed by Kansas Christian. Rebounded by the Pioneers. Pioneers quickly coming down the floor. Layup left side, up and good. Oh, I'm sorry, up and no good. No good. Thought that thing was going to drop. That's what I get for thinking. So that was a missed shot by Wright. Trying to scoop it in with the left hand. Here's a little pull-up jumper, 14 feet away. No good. The follow, no good. Jesus, guy's tall. <laughs> Not able to come up with anything. And now we're going to have a... Foul away from the ball. So both sides are going to change. And no, the official just said it was his timeout. An official timeout. Intriguing. Okay. No foul was called. There was, a, there was definitely some contact on the floor, but no foul called. And now the Pioneers need to be heads up as a press is coming from this stoppage. Again, back to that three-quarter court press, although now it's a little more than three quarters. So Elmore. Handling the ball, brings it up for the Pioneers, working to his right. Able to get it across half court. Brings it back to the top. Gives it to right. Right drives, dishes, dunk again. And dunk you very much. Caleb Jones-McCurry off the feed from right. Comes up with the two-handed slam. Pioneers get their lead to 16. Falcons drive, dish. A little layup on the way right side. That's automatic. That was a good wraparound pass. And points good from the Falcons. Now right driving. No, this isn't right. I'm sorry. What a difficult layup. Are you kidding me? That was Elmore who hits the circus shot from the left hand. That's just not even fair. Now Elmore picks up his man on defense. They're going to try and drive. Taking on three Pioneers, and that shot is a race. Now a foul is going to be called on the Falcons. So Anthony Brown comes up the rebound. They foul him, trying to wrestle it away. And so Conley is called for that personal foul. It's his first foul. Pioneers making some changes, coming back in. Kobe Reese is going to spell Jones McCrary. Now the Pioneers slowing the pace with three minutes left in the half. And at the floor is Elmore. Elmore up top to Reese. Reese drops it off with right. Right around the screen. Back to Reese. Reese in the paint. Layup up. No good. Too strong. Rebounded by the Falcons. Falcons quickly racing up the left side of the floor. Far side of your screen. Drive. Spins. Drops it off in the paint. Shot no good, but the follow able to hit. I believe this is Conley again. Now the Pioneers the other direction. Around the screen. Pull up jumper. Up. Too strong. No good. Alexander can't get the rebound. Close, but not quite there. Now here's, whoa, out of control the other way. No foul call. Turnover on the Falcons. Ball back to the Pioneers. Oh, they tried to get fancy, go down low to Anthony Brown. That is taken away, but stepping on the outline where the Falcons, so the ball's going to stay with the Pioneers. Good hustle defense. And this is by, I believe, Carvalho. Or Carvalho. I'm going to go with Carvalho. Good defense. And again, I would give you more if I could read their numbers. I can't read anyone's numbers. And I even have my glasses on tonight. Anthony Brown will inbound for the Pioneers. He gets it into Elmore. Back to Anthony Brown. Brown with it. He's got 14 on his shot clock. They're trying to isolate left side. Double team comes. Brown's pass too strong. Chased down by the Pioneers, though, before it crosses the half-court line. Drive, layup, left side, no good. Rebounded by the Pioneers. But not able to hold on was Kobe Reese. Kobe Reese came up with it, but couldn't bring it down and couldn't collect it. It goes out of bounds. Ball back to the Falcons. Here we go. Two minutes remaining in the half. This has been a very first, quick first half of action. 38-24 Pioneer lead.
Kansas Christian was slowing the pace a little bit. Now they're getting their offense moving. Working around the horn, and now we're going to have an illegal screen set. Ball back to the Pioneers. So this is Carvalho. Called for the personal foul. Again, an illegal screen. So the Pioneers get the ball back with 1.45 remaining in the half. They get the ball into Elmore. Elmore with it. Elmore, far side of your screen. His right side all alone up there. Offense is moving now. Gets the ball down to right. Right drops it off with Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown driving right, has space in the paint. Pops, drops. Pops, stops, and drops. Or stops, drops, and pops. However you want to throw it out there. Two points, Anthony Brown. Can tell I'm rusty on my basketball calling. Now here's a drive. Wraparound pass. Nice look. And that is a layup up and good from Conley off a great feed. Pioneers slowing the pace, 20 on their shot clock, a minute five left in the game. Oh, I'm sorry, the game, the half. Told you I was rusty. Pioneers looking to create. Elmore gets it over to right, right down low to Reese. Reese spins. They're going to wave this off. Foul on the ground. And this is going to be on Carvalho. And so this is probably going to put Kobe Reese at the line to shoot. And I do believe this is going to be single bonus, a one and one on the way. Let's go with one and one. Do the officials agree with me? Indeed. First shot on the way. Too strong. No good. Rebounded by the Falcons. Falcons racing up the floor, trying to close the gap before halftime. See if they can catch Pioneer sleeping. Not so much this time. Lewis with it. Lewis kicks the ball out. They get it around to Jordan. Jordan's pass knocked away by the Pioneer defense, trying to get it back to Lewis. And Lewis now will inbound from the sideline in front of the Pioneer bench. Gets it up to Jordan. Jordan looking down to 13 on the shot clock. Jordan still has it, top of the key. Works it left side. Far side of your screen, bringing it back up top. Now they get it into the hands of Lewis. Lewis is going to drive. Circus shot up, no good. The follow, no good. Rebounded by Anthony Brown. Now we're going to stop play as Lewis... Boog Lewis, the senior guard out of Las Vegas, Nevada, is down, holding his wrist. So he's going to be checked on by the training staff from both sides. Pioneer trainers are closer. They'll be there first. So we're going to have a little stop in action as we check on the injury to Lewis. Now able to get back onto his feet. He's going to come out of the game for just a moment. You can see him kind of clinching that wrist a little bit. Now Alexander is going to inbound for the Pioneers. Full court press being shown by the Falcons with 20 seconds left in the half. So Anthony Brown... Just going to bring it all the way up himself. Double team coming. Long pass. Ah, right into the waiting hands of the Falcons. They're going to have a chance right at the buzzer. Knocked away by Anthony Brown. Great defense. As in transition, Brown was able to chase down the play and knock it out of the, out of the hands of whoever it was with the ball because I can't read their numbers. <laughs> Sorry. Dark numbers on dark jerseys. What are you guys doing? Come on. You're killing me here. But now the ball in the hand off the inbound from Clark. Clark with it, dishes it around, drive, shot at the buzzer, up and good. So Conley able to come up with two points right at the buzzer. That's going to make your halftime score 40 to 28. A 12 point lead for the Pioneers going into the locker room. So the clock is set for 15 minutes. We'll be back in about 14 minutes. We'll get you the first half stats and then bring you the second half of action. So go ahead and refill your beverage, order yourself another pizza, and we'll be back in about 13 minutes.
All right, welcome back, everybody. We are getting ready to start the second half of action. Just giving you a quick first half stats over for the Falcons there. No mystery, leading the way for the uh, Kansas Christian College. That was Jamal Clark with 13 points. He shot six for 11 in the first half. One for three from three-point line. He had two steals in 19 minutes. And then behind him was Connolly with nine points. Lewis with two. And then over for the Pioneers, Anthony Brown had 16 points, lead the way. Seven and eight shooting, one from one from behind the three-point line. Pioneers only one from eight behind three-point line. That's worth noting. He had seven rebounds and three assists, one steal, one block. So working hard to see if he can't maybe get to that triple-double. Still got a ways to go. Behind him, Jones McCurry had nine points. Alexander with six points. And then Elmore and Wright each with two apiece. Reese has three. So that's where we are. Uh, as far as, and I didn't want to say anything, but I see in the YouTube uh, chat room it's already been addressed. As far as Baby Watch, there is still no report. Little Baby Broadcaster has not emerged yet, so, you know, everyone is keeping tabs of Baby Watch. Baby Watch, still nothing to report on. We are ready now for second half action as the Falcons bringing the ball up the floor. Thankfully, I had a word with some people during halftime. They find the numbers as difficult to read as I do. So, you know, hey, that's always a good good thing. There we have a first shot miss. Pioneers out in transition. Layup up and good from the right side. Able to knock it down was Ed Wright. A little layup as he was able to get behind the defense. And he gets the Pioneers started here in the second half with two points. A little weave being run at the top for Kansas Christian. Trying to create something along the baseline. Three-point shot on its way up. Too strong. No good. Alexander looks like he has that rebound. Battered around, and he comes down with it. He gets that ball ahead to Jones McCurry, and Jones McCurry takes it right to the rack, and he gets two points. Pioneers coming out fast here in the first minute of the second half. There's a drive. Hop step in the paint. Reverse. Up. No good. Battered around. Who's going to come up with this? And it's going to go to Washington for the Falcons. Washington has it, so they're able to main, maintain possession. Passes it off. Ball worked around the perimeter. Now here's a drive in the paint. Little woo, circus shot up and no good. Way too strong. Jones McCurry able to alter that shot. Now here's a drive. Pioneers baseline. Shot is up and offensive foul is called. Intriguing call. That's on Ed Wright. Uh, I don't think I saw anything too offensive <laughs> about that play, but he gets the, first, the personal and that is his first. It's a mix between first and personal. Told you I was rusty. So the Falcons now back on offense. Drive, dish, pump fake, drive, dish. Little hesitation. They're just not able to come up with anything. Now it's taken away. Foul is called. And this is going to be on the Falcons. That was a good steal by Ed Wright. And he was fouled before he could get away in transition. So Lewis called for the personal foul. Ball back to the Pioneers. And Elmore now bringing it up the floor. Tight coverage on him. Picks up his dribble. Goes to Anthony Brown right side. Brown has it down low. Jones McCrary. He whips it around. Tried to get it to Alexander. Tipped away by the defense. Is stolen by the Falcons. Now they're off to the races. Little shot from inside right in front of the paint. No good. I'm not sure what happened on that. That was Carvalho. Just he, he tried to go for the floater, and the floater missed everything. So he tried to come down with it, but he was on the outline. So ball back to the Pioneers. No points by the Falcons. So I know in the first half, I asked everyone where you were at, where you're, who you're rooting for, who your team is, who your player is. Uh, and I was, I was quite saddened to see that there were no responses. Well, as it turns out, our YouTube hadn't refreshed. There are plenty of responses, and so I would give you a call out if I could, but unfortunately I cannot. Thank you all for participating. That was fun. Uh, I just couldn't see it when you guys were typing it in there. Here's a missed shot by the Falcons. Pioneers race in the other direction. Drive. Shot is up. Too strong, no good. Rebounded by Jones McCurry. He's able to hit the follower. So Jones McCurry with two points. Pioneers pulling away as they've increased their lead to 20 here in the early stages of the second half. There we go. Now that I can see, ooh, there's a two-pointer good, and now the whistle blown. This is going to be a timeout called before the change of possession by the Falcons. So Kansas Christian wants to talk things over. 
I do see some love for Caleb there in the chat room. For Caleb Jones McCurry, who's having himself a good day. He now with 13 points on six of eight shooting, one for two from the free throw line, nine rebounds, two assists, and a block. So I would say that is actually a very good game here in the, well, I mean, I can't say early stages. We are after halftime, but how about the early stages of the second half? 17-09 remaining, 48-30 to 30 in favor of the Pioneers. Make sure you go to mnusports.com, check out the Pioneer schedule, see when they play again. I think we might have some games this weekend, but I'm not 100% sure. Again, I'm your substitute. I'm not required to know everything anymore. That's Nate's job. But Nate is on baby watch. <laughs> Sir, as a father of a 16 and 13 year old, I'm allowed to laugh at this point. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, play ready to resume as this timeout is over. Both sides heading on to the floor. Pioneers look like they're going to show a little pressure coming out of this timeout. They're going to go ahead. Oh, no, they're not. It's our ball. That's right. Kansas Christian called the timeout after the change of possession. Whoops, my bad. Sorry, everybody. Anthony Brown inbounds it. Into Elmore. Elmore coming up the right side. Comes back left. Now gets it around to right. Right back to Elmore. Elmore working to his left. Looking for Anthony Brown. Has him. Brown whips it around. Three-pointer on the way from the corner. Up and good. And right able to knock down the three-point shot. And deep in the far corner of your screen on his left side. Second three-pointer for the Pioneers. Shooting two for nine behind the arc. So now the Falcons really have slowed the pace, and now miscommunication. Ball goes out of bounds. Wayward pass by Jay Washington. That's turnover. Ball back to the Pioneers. There you go. We've got someone cheering on MNU from New Mexico. I love New Mexico. I have been there twice. That place is so beautiful, it's ridiculous. I'm a big fan of the Southwest, so welcome. Pioneers now get it to Alexander. Alexander get it around to Elmore. Elmore to right. Right. Got his man in the air. Drives. Dishes. Alexander. Three on the way. Too, no, too short. Not good. A little back tap by the Pioneers. They're going to keep the possession alive. Ooh, nice no look pass to Alexander. Alexander down low. Cuts to the lane. Taken away by Kansas Christian. Turnover on the Pioneers. Kansas Christian trying to race out in transition. Ooh, boy, skipping on the three-point shot was Clark. Jamal Clark was wide open, didn't take it. Ball worked around. Three on the way. There we go. Well, they worked for a better shot. And this is Lewis that gets the three-pointer to go. 51-33. Alexander with it for the Pioneers. Now he passes up a three. Decided better. Elmore has it. Got a drive. Their big 7-2 center is in there. He's going to shoot over him. Ball is altered by the 7-2 center. Rebounded by Jones McCurry. Gets it out. Pioneers, three on the way. Good. What? Nothing but the bottom of the net from Elmore. Wait, I think this is Elmore. No, I'm sorry. This is right. This is right. Sorry. Hey, our jersey's not easy to read either. I like the powder blue, and I like the red numbers on them, but if I'm looking at the front, the lettering is way too small. I know. Complain, complain, complain. I don't like anyone's jerseys. I'm just an old curmudgeon. Get off my lawn. Now a jump ball that's going to be called underneath. Pioneers doing the best that they could to block the shot of Wanchoku, and they caused the tie-up. So ball, or the, I'm sorry, the possession arrow favors the Pioneers. And Alexander will look to inbound. And now heading up the floor is Elmore. Elmore with it. Gets it over to Reese. Reese just checked into the game. Reese to Alexander. Alexander takes it down low to right. Right, working along the baseline. Spins inside. Little up and under. Dishes it out. Anthony Brown, three on the way. No good. Ball battered around, and the Falcons are able to come up with it. Falcons racing down. Long pass. Fake shot. Drive on the way. I think Alexander got a piece, but able to hit the follow were the Falcons. And again, I'd give you the number if I could read it. I believe this was Conley that was able to hit that follow. Not sure, because I still can't see the number, and he ran right by me. But, wow, 
Puts it the other way. Elmore says that's enough of that nonsense. He takes the layup, hits it from the right side. Going coast to coast, as they used to say. Now three-pointer on the way from Kansas Christian. That's up and good. Knocked down by Jay Washington. Elmore the other way for the Pioneers. Gets it to right. Wright has it, top of the key. Working to his right, now to his left. Goes around the screen, drives, hesitation step, kicks it out. Elmore, now he's driving in the paint. Ball knocked away and collected by Kansas Christian. So the Pioneers get a little sloppy here over the last couple minutes. Turning the ball over far more than they would like. Drive, dish, nobody home. Turnover by the Falcons. Anthony Brown comes up the steal. Ahead to Alexander, two on one at the hurry. Alexander drives, dishes. Three on the way, right, no good. Too strong off the back of the rim. Rebounded by the Falcons. Falcons quickly the other direction. Three on the way from the Falcons. Short, no good. Rebounded by the Pioneers. This is Reese with the board. He throws it away trying to get the outlet pass. Now here's a layup miss. No foul called. Kansas Christian down two players as they're arguing with the ref. Little Euro step attempt. Up and good. There we go. Right. Able to knock down the rebound. Or the rebound. Layup from the right side. 13 minutes remaining. Kansas Christian sends it into the post. The turns and faces up on Anthony Brown. That's a bold strategy, Cotton, so they pass away from that. Down to 15 on the shot clock. Drive in the paint. Layup up. And good. Circus shot from the right side. Well done. Lewis with the board. Pioneers quickly the other way. Here's a layup up and good from the left side and the foul. This is Elmore who's going to have two points in the potential three-point play. Changes being made for both sides. Van Dyke has come back in for the Pioneers. He's going to spell Elmore. Free throw on the way from right. Up and good. Completes the three-point play. Now Wright's going to take a seat. Coming into the game is Brooks Langer. Now the Falcons... Again, working the ball around the perimeter. Now they're going to drive, looking to dish. Dishes it out. Piner's defense equal to the task. Contested three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebounded by Reese. Reese now gets it across the court. Now tipped away. Is that a steal? That is a steal. Van Dyke got his pocket picked. Woo! Now here's a block by Reese. Out of control was Kansas Christian trying a little floater in the general direction of the rim. And Reese says, nay, nay, you shall not make this goofy little layup. Able to reject that. Knocks it into the stands on one bounce. Ball stays with Kansas Christian. Here's a drive. Trying to drive on Alexander. Spins into Anthony Brown. Tries to drop it off. And last touched by the Falcons. Ball back to the Pioneers. There's a replay on your screen of the block. Not bad, not bad. Was it close to goaltending? Sure. Was goaltending called? Absolutely not. Now Anthony Brown bringing up the floor for the Pioneers. Alexander comes out to set the screen. Brown drives, dishes it all the way out. Ball worked around the perimeter to Alexander. Back down to Brown. Brown now going to try and post up. He's got a smaller defender on him. Double team comes. Spins in the paint. Layup from the front of the rim. No good. Left it short. Boy, that's not something you see Anthony Brown too often. That little floater in the lane is where he makes his money. But not able to connect this time. Now they're going to try and drive on Langer, and layup is up and good. Nothing the Pioneer defense could do there. They were there. Just a better shot. So Van Dyke gets it across half court. Working on the left side. Got his pocket picked again. Second time. Here's a drive, floater in the lane, up, no good, rebounded by Anthony Brown. It is helpful that Anthony Brown can out jump everyone in here, myself included. Wrap around pass to Reese, Reese up and under, and it's good for two points. Alexander was a little out of control, so he drops it off underneath to Reese. Reese able to hit the layup. With that, timeout is called. And I believe this is just going to be a little quick 30 second timeout called by Kansas Christian. Your score right now, 63 to 42, with 10.55 remaining in the half. And also remaining in this here ball game. And now that I can actually see the chat room on YouTube, thank you everyone who's watching and participating. Do appreciate it as always. 
Pioneers definitely in jerseys I've never seen before. These are throwbacks. They're powder blue with red lettering. It's a, it's a stylish choice. Lots of stylish going on here. They're pretty. They're so pretty. If the lettering was white, I would think we were going with Kansas City Royals throwbacks. But it's red, so we look more like old Texas Rangers. Here's some old uh, useless baseball knowledge for you guys. I've got plenty of it. All right, coming up the floor for Kansas Christian. They drop the ball off with Stubbs. That was not Stubbs, I'm sorry. That was Clark. Ball being worked around the perimeter. Three on the way, up and no good off the left, right side of the rim. Rebounded by Anthony Brown, who's trying to get all the rebounds in this game. Now Elmore to Brown. Brown has it top of the key. Works left, comes back to Elmore at the top. Working the ball around the perimeter. Now Langer. Langer back to... Oh, nope, now we're just going everywhere. Jones McCurry underneath. Double team came and runs away. He dishes the ball out. Elmore drives, wrap around. Shot was up. He had more time in the shot clock than he thought, but able to collect his rebound and score is Jones McCurry. So the little wraparound pass went to Jones McCrary. He had three seconds left on the shot clock. I'm pretty sure he thought it was later than that. So he just tried a little shot put, shot into the basket. That was no good. Gets his own rebound, able to hit the follow. He is fouled, goes to the line for the potential three-point play. Changes being made on both sides. Uh, Jordan has checked in. For Kansas Christian, coming back in for the Pioneers, as if I could read that number on the front, is right. And Anthony Brown's actually going to take a seat. I guess he gets a breather. Free throw up and good from Jones McCurry. Now the Falcons heading up the floor. We are officially halfway through the second half. Here's a drive, dish, nobody home. Falcons able to collect, whip it around the horn, three-point shot, no good. Ouch! Oh, my. Now, I don't agree with the foul call. Alexander is called for the personal. However, I really don't think there's a lot of contact, but when a player comes down this hard, I feel like somebody's got to get called for that. Producer, can we get another replay of that, please? Whatever angle you had. Uh, that that's a very tough luck call on Alexander as he had I mean he went up for the ball the player went up with him and I guess you could say there was a little body contact but very little so thankfully though the player's alright gonna walk that off came down hard so yeesh. it's no good I think he's gonna remain in the game I wanna rethink that Ow. Walking gingerly, but he's all right. Those falls always scary. So, again, foul call on Alexander. That's where we're going to be once play resumes. Both squads in their huddle. If there was a timeout called, I do believe the timeout was called. Uh, it was called by Kansas Christian. Just give everyone time. Let everyone get reset. So 66 to 42 is your score. We have 9.53, and I'm sorry, no, this is the official TV timeout as it was a stop in action under 10 minutes. That was instituted years ago. There was a mandatory stop in action. So like I said, 9.53 remaining, 42, or I'm sorry, 66, 42, Pioneer lead. Got some highlights coming up on your screen there. Pioneers are ready to break this huddle. As they head back onto the floor. That was the second personal foul on Alexander, just in case you were keeping track. All right, now inbounding from the baseline are the Falcons. And they're able to get the ball in. Get it back up top, working around. And going with that little three-man weave, trying to find space. They're able to get it into the paint. Shot on the way, up and good. Little floater from the dead center of the lane from Conley. So Conley comes up with two. Pioneers pass tipped, but they maintain possession. Alexander has it right side. Gets it up top to Elmore. 
Elmore back to Alexander. Alexander goes down low to Jones McCurry. Double team comes. He passes out to right. Right to Alexander. Alexander thought about the three, and he thought about it long and hard. Didn't take it. Jones McCurry underneath, able to just drop step it up and in, a little up and under. He comes up with two points. Here's a three-point shot, quick in the shot clock, on the way from Kansas Christian, no good. And they've tried to get the Pioneers trapped along the baseline, and indeed they do. Ball was rebounded by Elmore, and he was immediately double-teamed as he was along the baseline. He's pushed out of bounds. No foul called, so a turnover on the Pioneers. Falcons with it. Trying to create along the baseline. Working the ball up top, now around, left side, drive on its way. Drives all the way through, dishes it into the paint. Up and good again. Another little floater knocked down from Conley. So Conley has found a little sweet spot on the driving dish. He's able to hit the little floaters after the point guard drops it off to him. With that, Anthony Brown heading to the scorer's table. He's going to check back in. Pioneers, three on the way. Too strong, no good. Rebounded by the Falcons. Falcons coming up far side of your screen, right side of the court. Here's a drive. They try another little wraparound pass. This one got tipped away. Now we're going to have a jump ball, and this time it will favor the Falcons of Kansas Christian. So Anthony Brown's going to come in. Jake Alexander's going to take a seat. Pioneers with a 22-point lead with 8-18 remaining in the ballgame. Kansas Christian will inbound from their baseline. Looking, looking, looking. They're able to get it into their rather tall player, but here's a foul called. Pioneers are trying to knock that ball away. A little too much arm action there. Caleb Jones-McCurry called for the personal. Just his second of the evening. Third team foul for the Pioneers. Now Washington with the ball. Washington driving, looking, looking, looking. Pull-up jumper from 14. No good. Rebounded by Jones McCurry. Boy, that should have been over, over the back by the big man, but nothing called. Now here's a pass tipped away. Going to stay with the Pioneers. Assistant coach for the Pioneers able to come up with that pass. To be fair, he was open. Now Elmore with the ball. Screen comes. He goes away from it. Driving. Taking on the big man. Layup up and left side. Up and good. Elmore going to go in there and challenge the big man underneath. He comes up with the layup from the left side. Here's a drive, dish, three on the way, too strong, no good. Back tap, kept alive by Kansas Christian. They're going to kick it out, wide open on the baseline, all day to think about it, up and good, Jamal Clark. So Clark able to knock that down in stride, and again, he had most of the evening to think about that shot before the Pioneer defense decided to get over there on him. Now here's a drive, up and good from the left side, this is right. Wright just put a little hesitation move on, and it just froze their center. He did not want to come over and have any piece of that, so two points for Wright, 72-49. Seven minutes remaining. Washington working the ball around the perimeter. Drive. They're trying to get it to the big man, taken away by Jones McCurry. Ahead of the field. Here come the Pioneers racing down the side. Up and good. Brooks Langer able to come up with the layup. And so a timeout called before the change of possession by the Pioneers. A little 30-second timeout. Talk things over. 74 to 49 is your score. 650 remaining in the ball game. Here's a replay on your screen. Langer. Up and down. So right now we've got two leaders, dual leaders for the Pioneers when it comes to points in this game as Anthony Brown. And Caleb Jones-McCurry both have 18 points in this ball game. Double-double for Jones-McCurry. He also has 13 rebounds. Anthony Brown right behind him with nine rebounds. So it's who's going to get the most assist in this game, I guess, is who's going to win this mano a mano matchup between Jones-McCurry and Brown. Jones-McCurry trailing by two assists. If he had two assists, they'd be tied. But he's also leading in rebounds. Who's going to come ahead? Oh, my goodness. It's manufactured drama right there, folks. Pioneers with a little three-quarter court press of their own. Going for a little trap. 
Definitely seen hardier presses, but they're just going to make Kansas Christian think about it a little bit. Looks like the Pioneers have also switched into a zone defense. A little 3-2 zone being shown right now. See how long it lasts. Something new coming out of the break. Why not? Three from the corner on the way. No good. Rebounded by Anthony Brown. Brown ahead of the field to right. Ooh, right. Lost handle on the ball. Had to collect it. Gets it out to Anthony Brown. The Pioneers not able to score in transition. They're going to slow this possession down. Elmore drives, wraparound pass, up and under, up and good for Jones McCurry. He takes the points lead with six minutes remaining. Quickly the other way, the Falcons drive, dish, drive along the baseline. Circus shot no good. Falcons are definitely pressing right now. They're just trying to get anything in. Long outlet pass to Anthony Brown. Oh, my goodness. That was a ridiculous circus shot right there. He was on the left side of the rim. Reached under with his very long arms and hits a layup from the right side. But his body was still on the left side. That's ridiculous. Three-point shot on the way from the corner. No good. Rebounded again by Anthony Brown. Long outlet pass ahead to Jones McCurry. And layup. No good. Uh, he probably could have taken one dribble. Tried to just stretch himself across. No good. Back the other way. Tipped away by the Pioneers. Now watch this. Showtime. Well, with a layup from the right side. Jones McCray, <laughs> he was going to be a little more sure that time and knocks down the layup from the right side. Now here's a pass knocked away by the Pioneer defense, though. Recovered by the Falcons, up and under. And the shot is good and the foul. Going to the line is going to be Conley looking to complete the three-point play. So Jones McCurry called for the personal foul. Just the fourth personal. He's going to come and take a seat. Kobe Reese checks back in. Kobe Reese Jr. out of Spokane, Washington. First free throw on the way. Too strong, no good. The only free throw, sorry, not the first. It was a potential three-point play. You only get one free throw on those. Anthony Brown has it right side. Can try and get around his man. They're going isolation the whole way here. He's working himself in. Now double team comes, kicks the ball out. Three on the way, right, too strong. Falcons quickly the other direction. In the paint, going to spin on Langer. Nope, kicks it out. Three on the way. Too short, no good. Anthony Brown, another rebound. The Anthony Brown of rebound. Elmore has it. Anthony Brown right side. Elmore keeps it. They go to Langer. Langer works it around to right. Right, deep in the corner. Spins, drives, shot on the way. No good left side. And the rebound was gathered by the Pioneers. Kobe Reese is fouled, fouled on the floor. So I just got word that this is now a new personal high for Jones McCurry as he has 22 points in this game. First free throw, up and good. So a new personal best for him, for the Pioneers. In 22, 14 boards. Three assists, a steal, two blocks. Not a bad stat line, if you're asking me. So Caleb Jones McCreary with a career day. Second free throw, no good. Too strong by Kobe Reese. Pioneers up by 30. 81 51. We're about four minutes remaining. Here's a layup, up and good, and the foul. So Clark gets the basket, and he's going to go to the line for the potential three point play. The foul was on Van Dyke. Free throw on its way. Up and good. Completes the three-point play. Now some pressure being shown. And, ooh, Van Dyke called for the travel. Sure enough. One step too many as he was trying to find someone to get the outlet pass to as the pressure was all around him. So turnover on the Pioneers, ball back to the Falcons. Falcons drive, dish, now driving baseline, long pass out, three on the way. No good. Ball being battered around, and finally Reese able to come down with it. Long pass ahead to Van Dyke. Van Dyke's layup, up and good from the right side. Brenton Van Dyke comes up with two points. 
Falcons quickly the other way. Now again, all day to think about this three-point shot. No good. Rebounded by Anthony Brown. Now a whistle blown. And they are actually going to call. You don't see this call often. Jamal Clark is called for the flop. Now he was, after his shot, he did try and come down as though he had landed on someone. I mean, I saw it. I wouldn't have called that. I mean, he was trying to draw the foul. I get it. But with the flop call, Anthony Brown's going to go to the line. He's going to shoot. Pioneer is making a change. Jake Alexander, I would imagine that his night is done. Caden Caberline comes into the game. The freshman out of Olathe, Kansas. From Olathe South. Now Anthony Brown able to hit his shot. Now that's going to probably end his night. And checking in is Zane. Ooh. I could be wrong. It's happened before. So the Pioneers do get the ball back even after that. Not a good idea to flop. Pioneers, though, have gone to their bench, so this is going to be some experience trying to get it across. Oh, and a travel called on Van Dyke. The first one I did see. That one I did not. And he shrugs his shoulders. I don't think he felt. He did not feel as the officials did either. i, I got to say I'm, I'm on Van Dyke's side. I, I did not see a travel on that. Now substitutions being made over on the other side. Coming in are Cavajo and, and Oguin. Okay, I can't read their jerseys. I'm sorry, everybody. Both teams with very difficult jerseys to read. I can't read the Pioneers from the front. I can read it from the back. I cannot read it from the front. And then, got to be honest with you, Falcons fans, I can't read theirs anywhere. Dark letters, dark unis. No, no. Stop it. Stop it. 3.20 remaining. Here's a drive. Shot on the way. A little 12-footer up and good. O'Quinn knocks that down. Now Van Dyke double team coming. Triple teamed. Wow. That's respect for Van Dyke right there. Able to break the triple team. Gets the ball away. Pioneer still in control. Now looking now, they get it to Reese. Reese back to Van Dyke. Van Dyke kicks it out. Three on the way. Woo, missed. Almost everything just hits the right side of the backboard, does it, for Brooks Langer. Langer's three-point attempt, no good. 84-56 is your score. Drive, dish, another drive. Pioneers knock this free. Ahead to Langer. Langer ahead of the field, left side, left, up and good. So Brooks Langer able to come up with another basket. Keeps the lead at 30 for the Pioneers with two and a half remaining. There's a three-point shot. Or a, no, I think they're only going to give him two. Two-point shot, up and good for Kansas Christian. Pioneers quickly the other way. Langer definitely had the opportunity to take a shot. Didn't take the three. Pioneers have no need to be in such a hurry. Milking the shot clock now for all it's worth. Langer drives. Layup, left side, no good. Left it short. Rebounded by the Pioneers. Follow, no good. Another follow, no good. It's two missed shots by Caberline. He was not able to hit. Oh, boy, there should have been a walk. Officials didn't see that one, I guess because it wasn't Van Dyke. Here's a steal by the aforementioned Van Dyke. Drives, drops it off, spins. Langer, three on the way, looks short. Nope, shows what I know. Langer knocks it down for three. As when you get to this point in the game, the only thing you can do is try and get everyone out of here healthy. No point in anything foolish happening at the end of a blowout. Both sides, if they leave healthy, that's a good day. Here's a little 17-footer. Up, no good. Rebounded, though, by the Falcons. Another drive. Shot on the way. A little floater. Up. No good. Rebounded by the Pioneers and then thrown away. Now here's going to be a foul on Van Dyke. And man going to the line for Kansas Christian. I cannot read that number. Who is he? Starts with a three. Britt Main. Britt Main is at the line. He's going to shoot two with 106 remaining. First free throw, too strong, no good. Main is going to have one more. Aiden Michael checks into the game, seeing his first minutes. Kobe Reese takes a seat. So Michael going to check in at center. Second shot on its way, too strong, no good. So missed them both. 
Rebounded by the Pioneers with 104 remaining. Now whistle blown. Another, what? Another travel called? But the ball staying with the Pioneers. What was that official signal? He signaled traveling. I'm so confused. Okay, anyway, the Pioneers inbound from midcourt. Don't know why. So Van Dyke has it. We're under one minute remaining in the game. Gets that ball over to Novotny. Novotny lost handle on it. Still around. Now he's going to be fouled. So we'll see if that's going to put him at the line. No, not yet. Pioneers will inbound from their baseline. All right. Nope. I lied. Everyone set up on the baseline. The official's like, nah, let's go, to, let's go out here on the sideline. So inbound it from the sideline. Get it into Van Dyke. Van Dyke around the screen, driving, going in amongst the trees, dishes it back out. In the corner, Novotny, three on the way, up and good. So Novotny, he got the whole bench up on that one, so I'm going to imagine maybe close to his first Pioneer points or maybe his first Pioneer three, whatever the case might be. Good job out of him. That's got to be a travel. There it is. Okay, travel called on Kansas Christian. Ball back to the Pioneers. Your score right now, 92-58, to 29.3 seconds remaining. Full court press now being shown. Pioneers are able to get the ball into Ibarra. Ibarra has checked into the game, so Ibarra now heading up the floor. Van Dyke with it. Over to Aiden Michael. Aiden Michael just kind of holding on as Pioneers can take this all the way down to zeros. And that's what they're going to do. So with that, the game is going to conclude in five seconds. Leading the way for the Pioneers was Caleb Jones McCreary with 22 points. Right behind him was Anthony Brown with 21. So Jones McCreary, 22 points on 10 of 14 shooting. He was two for three from the free throw line. He had 14 rebounds and three assists, one steal, two blocks in 26 minutes of action. So that's a heck of a game for him. Anthony Brown with 21 points on nine of 12 shooting. He was one for two behind the three-point line, two for three behind the charity stripe, 14 rebounds and six assists. Two steals, one block in 32 minutes of action. Rounding up for the Pioneers, Wright had 17 points. Two rebounds, three assists, and three steals. Over on the other side, leading the way was Clark with 21 points, and then Conley with 17, Lewis with 7, and Washington with 5. So make sure you go to mnusports.com to check out the rest of the schedule, see when the Pioneers team play next, and when you might be able to come down here and see them in action. So... I have been your substitute announcer. My name is Kyle. Thank you so much for joining us. You can find everything on mnusports.com and also check out MNU Sports on Twitter. Wait, hold on. Next game. Ah, two weeks from tonight. All right, two weeks from tonight, they're back here at home. So make sure you're down here in the Bell Family Arena at Rocky Lee Mark Court inside the Cook Center for all the action. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you in two weeks.